It is 1869, and a patchwork of communities, counties, and local commercial interests in North America are reassembling themselves after the evaporation of the United and Confederate States following seven years of continuous war. The simultaneous deaths of Grant and Lincoln in the Grand Plot of 1865 left the Union powerful but rudderless. The Confederacy, on ever-shrinking resources, kept holding on as the battles repeated across a devastated landscape. Everything came apart in 1867. Tired of war and starving from the interruption of commerce and crop failures, counties banded together to not so much secede, but to simply opt out of the conflict. Soldiers, supplies, and support dried up for what everyone started calling the Great Calamity. Internecine squabbling in the United States Congress and talent depletion in the Confederate ranks could no longer sustain the effort. Both governments collapsed. Officers and soldiers in the field, out of supply and with no instruction from higher headquarters that now stood abandoned or destroyed, started drifting home. Much as had happened in Latin America 30 years earlier, local politicians and disenfranchised military officers began taking advantage of the chaos and seizing control. Similarities of culture and commercial interests formed the new backbone of the competing, struggling, fractured states of America. Though the armies are smaller and weary soldiers more cautious, there are disputes to settle. It continues to be a time of war.